and welcome to the video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to integrate Salesforce Service Cloud with MuleSoft. I am Mohammad Akib and working as MuleSoft developer since last few years now. Before we move on, we should verify that you should have basic understanding of Salesforce Service Cloud. You should have a developer account of Salesforce. If you don't have, you can go to developer.salesforce.com and create an account. And verify that you have a REST client application like Postman or Advanced REST client. Also, you should have some basic understanding of MuleSoft and any point platform. In this video, we will cover how to validate JSON schema in MuleSoft, how to integrate MuleSoft with Salesforce Service Cloud, and in the end, we will see a demo how this works. So let's move on to the AnyPoint Studio and start from validation of JSON schema in MuleSoft. So here is the Mule flow where we have configured a listener, which you can find from here in HTTP. And this is the operation listener, which will listen to the request with the path 8. Let me show you configuration. We have configured localhost with 80814. And then we have a component, validate schema. You won't find it here, but you can search in exchange and in exchange, you can find JSON. And then you will have this JSON module. I already got this in my Mule palette, as you can see here. You can drag it from here and configure your schema. And for that, I have a schema file here. You can see. Also, if you want to generate the schema from JSON, you can go to this link here, jsonschema.net, and then the schema will be generated for you. You can copy this schema and pass it over this file. And then we have further processing. But if the JSON schema is not validated and it is not compliant with the request, then what will happen that in on error propagate, we will generate a case. And this case is from Salesforce service flow. You can see this flow over here. Here we are generating the data to send to case to Salesforce Service Cloud, let me show you over here. Go to this link and click service. Within service, we should be able to see cases. And in this, uh, so this is the environment where we are talking about Salesforce Service Cloud. So let me just show you again that this is the data that we are generating, which will be passed to create a case. And this is the uh, create component. You can find it from Salesforce and create over here. And within here, we can configure Salesforce configuration, which I have inserted in my config properties. Then we have a type as case. We have different types, but we are configuring with Salesforce Service Cloud for which we would need to configure case. Right. And then there are loggers and getting responses. JSON is it is in regular development. OK, let me go and send a request first with same uh, exactly same what we have created a schema for. And the request should get succeed. Now, if I remove this parameter and click send, here we go. JSON content is not compliant with schema. And if you see in console that we are in on error propagate. And here the, JSON, uh, the case has been created in Salesforce service cloud. We can go here and select my open cases 
here we see integration bytes cannot verify json schema if you click here and you can see that what message we sent from here cannot verify json schema description comments you can verify from here so this is how we can configure salesforce service cloud with mule 4 so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos you can also leave comments to have a video that you would like to see in future until then stay tuned